Migraines affect 50 million Americans and 75% of those who suffer from these debilitating headaches are women. And if you live in Albuquerque and suffer from migraines, then listen up. The Duke City is a migraine hotspot. Albuquerque is ranked highest in the country for migraines triggered by environmental factors. An author and holistic pharmacist, Sherry Tarkos, joins us with the details. Good morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> well, what are some of these triggering factors? Well, there's so many different things that can trigger migraines. Um, when they, they looked at this survey, I think they were looking at a variety of factors, environmental factors, such as heat, um, sometimes humidity can be uh, a factor, also dramatic changes in weather, um, stress, lack of sleep, too much alcohol, mm -hmm. and certain foods can trigger migraines as well. Well, and migraines can also be misdiagnosed. What are other types of headaches that can be mistaken for a migraine? Well, you know, there are a lot of different types of headaches. There's cluster headaches, there's tension headaches. People that are stressed out, they tend to get the tension headaches, which feels like you've got a band around your head. What a migraine really is um, a throbbing, intense headache. It could start on one side of your head or it could start on both sides. And for people that have migraines, it can be completely debilitating. They have to go into a, a dark room, put ice packs on their head. Some people wow. have to take very serious medications such as uh, painkillers, narcotics, and, and drugs to to, uh, to treat the migraine. It can be expensive too. If you have migraines, some of the treatments can be $30 and upwards per wow. treatment. Well, I know you brought, you brought some examples here yes. of what might be factors that trigger those headaches. That's what, right. what are those? Well, on the far side, I've got some things that can trigger migraines. And for certain people, foods are a trigger, such as nuts, cheese, dark chocolate, or chocolate in general. Um, right now, we're looking at the treatments here, but in, over in ter on this side here, I've got nuts cheese, dark chocolate, and red wine, and those are common triggers for people that have migraines. So the best thing is really to keep a migraine journal so that you can track hmm. what, what's bringing them on. For some women, it's hormonal changes when they're experiencing their menstrual cycle that can trigger it. For some people, it's missing a meal. For some people, it's having certain foods or even smelling a certain scent. Um, but the good news is there are things available today to help. Well, how can a migraine suffer pinpoint exactly what's triggering that? particular headache? Well, that's where keeping a journal is really journal. important. Exactly. So documenting when that headache comes on and seeing a neurologist as well, seeing a doctor. So you can work with a doctor to help determine what's happening. Um, what, what I brought today in terms of some of the treatments, and I'd like to focus on this because I think a lot of people are, are looking for solutions and things that they can do to help. So are you saying migraines headache. are preventable? They are manageable. Okay. In some cases, they're preventable. If you can pinpoint what the underlying cause is, you may be able to prevent a migraine. What the newest research uh, has come out with, and there, you can see I've got some ginger on the table. All right. And ginger root has been used for hundreds of years um, for nausea, motion sickness, morning sickness. And now it's actually put into a supplement. This is a, a natural product. It's called Lipogesic M. And it contains a combination of ginger and fever few. And it's in this little, this little foil sachet and what you do is you put this underneath your tongue okay when you feel the migraine coming on and they've done clinical research to show that that can halt the migraine and, and prevent it from becoming severe it's actually published in a mainstream medical journal called headache and a leading migraine specialist conducted the study and what they found is that 64 percent of subjects experienced pain relief within two hours of taking this and this is wow. only five dollars a treatment compared to the migraine drugs which can be thirty dollars to fifty dollars a treatment Very interesting. so if you go into Walgreens and actually Walgreens is a pharmacy pretty readily available here in Albuquerque <laughs> lots yes, of locations um, that's where you can find that so go into Walgreens and it's the Lipogesic M you can ask your pharmacist for it but you don't need a prescription for it and so if you have migraines and say you're taking narcotics medications, painkillers, and maybe you can't manage the side effects, the high cost, this is another option to consider that can really help to halt that migraine headache. Okay. Yeah, and then there's some other things too right. I brought. I've got some berries, I've got some spinach, sweet potato, and these foods are rich in antioxidants that can help with inflammation, reducing inflammation. They also contain nutrients such as magnesium and the B vitamins, which there's been evidence to show may be beneficial. So those are foods you want to include in your diet. Okay. Also fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. They reduce inflammation in the body, and researchers believe that inflammation is a key 
triggering part of what causes a migraine. I know magnesium is also good for sleep. Yeah, magnesium is, is very important. good for sleep. And, and there's a big connection there between lack of sleep, stress, and migraine yes. headaches. Those are triggers for a lot of people, and, and it's, a, you know, it's a lifestyle issue. If you're not getting enough sleep at night, you become more stressed, and those two factors for a lot of people can trigger a migraine headache. So you, know, you really want to try and look at what factors are, are triggers or hot spots for you and, and work on trying to manage them if you can naturally. Well, I also want to mention that you co-authored Saving Women's Hearts. Tell us about your book. Yeah, my book is all about prevention of heart disease in women. Heart disease is a woman's number one killer. Um, and on this topic of migraine, there's actually evidence to show that people that experience migraines are twice as likely to experience heart attack. There wow. is a connection there, wow. researchers believe, between blood vessel diseases and inflammation. So my book I co-authored with uh, my friend who's a cardiologist, Dr. Martha Galati. Okay. And we outline just you know some really valuable information on what women can do to take charge of their health health, cut the risk of heart disease, and live a healthier lifestyle. Great. Well, where can our viewers go for more information? You can check out my website, and it's sherrytorkus.com. So it's just my name, sherrytorkus.com, for more information. Wow, that's great. And after the break, we're going to savor the flavor with the Wild West. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me.